When studying for maths, I like to start by taking some notes just on all the contents and all the topics that are going to be in the test so I know what I need to study. Since I actually have two tests, I like to just color code them so that I can use my time the most effectively. Uh, these are the things I'm going to need to study for each different topic and I've written down ideas for what I can do for this study. I wrote out this plan as soon as I got my um, study notification, but I'm just going to do a quick flip through so you guys can see how my notes look generally. Um, right now we're actually doing measurement. So this is a general idea of how my notes normally look. And here is the study page that I'm going to do for today. Quite messy, but you know what, that's okay. And so I like to just write study summary at the top just so that I know versus in different places I have like measurement. One of my favorite things ever is to use color, so I'm of course using these two. And I just wrote the definitions in a little box. I have having this little line down here so I can write down any extra info that I might need and I just did it in pencil so that way I can rub it out at the end. I also use lots of sticky notes when I'm studying so that I can plan exactly what I'm going to do. For example, here I wrote down all the topics I'm going to need over this and what I'm going to do. So then I can also, when I'm done, just fill that straight up. I also love to use little sticky notes like these. So if I need to come back to this page, I easily can. And other notes like this to add cute notes on my page or like summaries. I definitely recommend Eddie Wu, he's an Australian um, maths teacher who just gives you guys notes and talks through his classes. I like to write subheadings for each subtopic and I like to use colour and bold um, writing so that it stands out. When making my maths notes, I also like to go over previous day notes. Obviously, I've written up some sets over here um, and also here so I can go over those. So I'm just going to copy down some of those notes that I wrote down in a simplified way. And I like to use capitals for any words that I want to really stand out so when I'm going through my notes, they're really bold. I also love to include examples, so definitely do this too so you know what you're talking about. And keeping organised with the sticky notes, now that I'm done adding and subtracting, I'm going to go ahead and cross them off. Don't be afraid to make mistakes, you can always just use whiteout. But if you don't like whiteout, you can definitely check out erasable pens like these. This is a texture highlighter kind of one, um, which is great and obviously looks really nice and you can then just rub it straight out. And this is a pen one which comes in lots of different colours. And again, you can just rub that straight out. I definitely recommend going through a textbook. It's going to have summaries for you guys on different topics and questions you guys can do to practice. And of course, then in the back, they've got the answers, heaps you can do. So in this little margin thing, as you can tell, I've added just some fun fact things um, that I thought I needed. But now that I've finished one page, I'm just gonna move on to the other page. Um, since I still do need these little sticky notes, I'm just gonna move them over here. Or you guys can even just like put them on your desk. So now that I've done the note kind of taking on each topic, I'm just going to go ahead and do some more practice questions. And I have all this space left on both of these sides where you can write practice questions and also these gaps where you can write any notes to learn while you're doing the questions or questions you think will stand out quite a bit. And then finally, once I'm done everything, um, then I'm going to write a summary down in this section at the bottom here. And I just want to add some cute little final touches. Thanks for watching this video. Here are my finished notes. So the sides we've already been over. This side, I didn't leave the space to do extra questions because I figured I didn't really use that much on the last one. Um, here are my notes on equations. And on the, this last page for simultaneous equations, I didn't use the extra line down the side or the note bit. So this is if you want to just take normal notes going all the way across the page.